yesterday All my troubles seem so far away Now it looks as though they're here to stay oh, The latest I estimate from the builders what it will now cost to finish the work on the casualty unit. Well, I'm sorry, everybody, but I have to get back to relieve the au pair. Um, Gordon can fill me in this and later. Uh, of course. We won't be long ourselves, I hope. As you see, it's worse than we thought. I'm exploring a number of avenues to raise money. I've uh, outlined them for you. Uh. Any more cups of coffee, Dr. Weather? No, no, no. I'm sure they can sort themselves out. You should go home, really. Right. Sounds serious, doesn't it? We'll oh, be out of work where things are going. The renovation work revealed just how unsafe the roof already was. We, we couldn't have known before what had to be done. Oh, I know this isn't my field, but none of these fundraising options look very promising, do they? Well, if we don't find the money to pay the builders, they're going to down tools at the end of the week. Does the Trust have any funds to help bridge the gap in the interim? No. I told you, you've already had everything from the revenue account. No contingency fund anywhere? No. If there was, I would have said so. Sister Bridget said you might need this. Oh, thank you, Carol. Look, why can't the DHA lend us the extra money, give us some breathing space? Tried that. Got a flat no. Unfortunately, I see no choice. Work will have to be suspended. Which is exactly what the DHA wants. Look, without an emergency department, a cottage hospital like this has no real future. It's the perfect excuse they're looking for to close us down. Maybe one of my private donors will come good, but it's bound to take time. Sorry, there's been an emergency call. A shooting at a small holding on the Whitby Road. Jean McAteer? Of course, yes. We're, we're very interested in all potential donations. Uh, when would it be convenient for you to visit? Well, I'm actually in the area. Uh, I could be with you by 11 o'clock. How does that sound? Lovely. Uh, thank you. See you then. Lizzie, I'm expecting a Mr. Meavers from the Packham's Pickle Company. Really? Oh, I love Packham's Pickle. I have it with cheese on cream crackers. My dad prefers it on a toast of bread cake. Yeah, the, the company may make a donation to the renovation fund. It's important we make a good impression. Yeah, right. Lizzie, mind out. Oh, yes, sorry, Matron. Could someone give us a hand here, please? Jean, could you take this trolley? Let's take oh. the end. Yeah. Oh. That's it. Oh. Can I help you? Has there been some sort of accident? Yeah, there's been a big emergency. They're waiting to be seen. Tell me more. What sort of emergency? No, I'm telling you no. I thought Matron made that very clear. I'm sorry? We don't need you lot snooping round asking questions. Go on, out you go. Young lady, I'm Terence Mavers and I've got an appointment here. Mr Mavers, how nice to meet you. Jean McAteer, hospital administrator. Oh. Coffee for two in my room now, Miss Hopkirk. You found us all right then? Yeah. Your labour costs are very high. I'd trim this wage bill for a start. All hospitals need a reasonable sized staff. We are open 24 hours. Well, it seems to me that if you were operating in a competitive marketplace, you'd soon be out of business, my dear. Anyway, to understand how any setup works, I believe in getting onto the factory floor. Yes, um, <laughs> uh, we're, we're, we're not a factory, of course. Uh, we don't make anything here. You make patients better, I hope? Of course. That's always our aim. Seems I've arrived at an opportune moment. I'm told there's been some emergency. Yes, indeed. Uh, an explosion at a building site. Dr. Weatherill and Dr. Ellis are out there dealing with it now. Uh, Dr. Weatherill is uh, a partner in the practice, I see. Who's Ellis? He doesn't seem to be on the list. A young doctor. Joined quite recently. Uh, he may become a partner in due course. All our beds are full now. I've called Ashford General to see how many they have left. Good. Well, we'll get the rest over when the ambulance gets here. Um, why weren't the injured just uh, sent to a bigger hospital in the first place? Oh, uh, may I introduce Terence Mavis, Dr. Ormerod? He's uh, looking round with a view to recommending a donation to his company directors. I mean, little place like this, do you actually need a casualty department? Well, yes. Yes, we do. Ashford is a fair distance away, and very often patients need emergency treatment quite quickly. So it isn't just a question of status, then. There really is a demand for the casualty facility that you want to restore. The local community rely on us. If we didn't have it, we wouldn't be able to serve them properly. You reckon so, do you, nurse? I am the matron here. 
Which company do you represent, may I ask? Packham's Pickles. Really? Oh, my children love that advert. When you put a bit of pickle on, put a bit of Packham's <laughs> on. <laughs> Have you seen it, Major? Not as I recall, no. Sorry. Well, I can see why you need to raise money, my dear. A lot of work still to be done, by the looks of it. Yes, indeed. So why aren't they getting on with it, instead of being stood around supping tea? It's their break, I think. Chap over there. Is he one of your porters? Yes, yes, he is. He's the sort of bloke I need to meet. Uh, Jack's a bit busy at the moment. 